Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. And I am joined by legendary trainer, Kevin Sanders from Peterborough. How are you doing, Kevin? Fine, thanks, Working mate. Well? Yeah, thank what you, you man. you up to Sheffield tonight, uh, Kevin? Uh, Dennis Hobson from Fight Academy, that's been a commentator tonight on the Tommy Frank uh, fight. So, oh, he's a PC Dennis. Yeah, PC Dennis, a good friend of mine. Yeah, you go, back, you go way back, don't you? I worked for him two years. Um, Can you train a few people that you have, Dave yeah, Allen? Yeah, Dave Allen, we trained here. And, uh, Did you work out with you and Dave Allen? Uh, well, no, I left Dennis and went to do my own thing, and Dave was with, De with Dennis, so yeah. it, uh, he you moved on. Dave after that, then? Uh, Mike Miles. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. So what fighters have you been involved with in over the years, Kevin? Uh, we've had, like, Hunnigan was with him. He went through and beat Mickey Hughes for the Commonwealth title way back in the day. Sean Cummins, Matt Skelton, Nigel Ben, Frank Bruno, Robert McCracken. Robert McCracken? Did you train Robert McCracken? I assisted to sell Torrance when I was yeah, working yeah, in America yeah. when he fought Keith Very Holmes, good fighter. Very good fighter. Very professional. Fought Keith Holmes, didn't he? That's the one I worked with, yeah. Very professional. Do you think that Robert McCracken, when he fought Keith Holmes, would tie it the way? I think, I think he could have easily won the fight, I just think he believed in himself at that time. You think it was a bit of mental, more yeah. than physical and what technical about I think you're, I think you're right, yeah. Oh, that's good, man. Uh, so who's been the best fighter that you've trained, ability-wise? Uh, for me, Lloyd Hunnigan. Lloyd Hunnigan, By right? far, by right far. Good. Yeah. By far. Really good, yeah. yeah well, really. he was the undisputed welterweight champion well, yeah, in the world, didn't he? Absolutely. Yeah. Did he beat the pound for pound number one at the time? Donald Curry, yeah. Donald Curry. Stopped him. Knocked him out, yeah. yeah. Did he win every round? I knew, you know, I never actually saw the fight. I never actually saw the fight. Um, I was in America when oh, the fight happened. Oh, you training Lloyd then, huh? I didn't train him for that. I took him over when he got beat by, um, in Wembley, when he got put down when he was in Jamaica. He was dead at the weight then, I took over after that. He ended up fighting uh, the guy who were in the car crash, didn't he? Yeah, Vinny Pazienza. Vinny Pazienza, he fought him, didn't he? The was, Tasmanian Devil. Yeah, I was there for that. Did Lloyd beat him? No, he got stopped in the night time. He, <laughs> was, he weren't big enough. <laughs> He ended up fighting for the Super Middleweight title, didn't he? He fought Earl Graham, didn't he? Yeah, Earl Graham, yeah. Uh, what would we like to train Frank Bruno, Kevin? Well, I, I was just assisting with George Francis. He trained with us, Nigel Bem. Uh, you would have been a young one then, wouldn't you? Yeah, I was there, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I, I just sort of assisted with them more than anything, yeah. really, for the task and stuff. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Uh, um, getting back to the guy that, obviously, sadly, it's, it's got a sad element to this, and I know that you get asked this a lot because you'll always be tied to this. You trained Nigel Ben for, sorry, to fight the pound for pound hardest puncher of his generation across the board, Gerald McClellan. Yeah. Obviously, sadly, he's in a bad way. Uh, and I know that that fight had a, uh, it changed your life, hasn't it? Ever since. You know, it's, yeah. Yeah, it affected you as a coach, didn't it, as well? Yeah, I, yeah. I knew yeah. what people didn't realise. I, I was quite pally with Joe. Yeah. Me, me and working in Vegas, he's trained the same gym. So, uh, uh, he trained top rank where I trained. He also trained at uh, Sugar Ray Leonard's gym. He also trained at Howard Miller's gym. Howard who? Howard Miller, Lieutenant oh. Howard Miller. He trained at a lot of gyms where I used to go as well. So, uh, I, knew, I, knew, I knew him quite well. He's, he, was a, he was a bully guy, you know. But, uh, he was a what? He was a bully. Was he, was a bully. he was a bully, absolutely bully. I've spoken to a couple of people actually recently on the telephone, people from America, I'm not saying the name of them, but they were, they were made, people who Dennis has done business with and they all said when Gerald McClellan walked into a room, if he didn't know you, he just did you a stare like yeah. he wanted to kill you, yeah. and that were everybody, were very sullen. Is, is, is he always like that, yeah? Well, he is, yeah. Is is it, from but, but on the night, what people didn't realise, myself and my wife were going out for dinner with him. A what? We were going out for dinner after the fight with him. What, you and Gerard? Me, yeah. What, are you wife? Are you part and me, and me, me wife, yeah. Uh, we'd, yeah. we'd arranged to go out for dinner, um, we never you got on with Gerard? Yeah, I got on well with him, but I knew what he was, you know. You could have ended up training him. No, no. Huh? no. 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 Yeah, yeah I, I was training in America and he was there, but yeah, uh, got him, I got no idea, I knew what he was, but yeah. What were this, I saw a documentary, right, with you in, this documentary, Kevin, and 
He's training with Stan Johnson on the night. Well, ladies and gentlemen, very good evening. The World Tank Box Sports Center for the City Bell of Boxing. Brought to you by Dennis Hobson. He's a thorn in my arse in that ball. Big Bell of Boxing City Stouts on our evening. Round number one. Yeah, I'm a felon. So the record, not very good. Disgusting. Yeah, disgusting. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, listen, what we'll do. Can we finish this off later? Yeah. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How are you doing? It's Big Pork here, voice of hardcore boxing. And we got interrupted early when I was interviewing legendary boxing trainer Kevin Sanders. Kevin, we spoke about Stan Johnson uh, basically not being up to scratch. General McClellan, you knew him when he was with Manny, uh, not Manny Stewart, Manny Stewart, wasn't it? Yeah. And he ended up leaving him. I don't know what happened there. Manny Stewart died and General McClellan disabled. But he obviously fell out of a summit, didn't he? Probably money in boxing. And General McClellan didn't think he needed a trainer, which is suicide in boxing, isn't it, basically. Because I watched that fight, actually. I watched it in prison, in Doncaster Prison, and I could see you were blinking. You would have seen that, and you would have been telling, you had Denny Mancini at corner as well. You two would have been telling Ben, listen, he's had it. Did you notice there was something not right? Yeah, we, knew, we noticed that. When, what time. round did you notice that? Yeah. The fourth? Yeah. Right, and you just kept put, just keep telling Nigel to hang in there. Just keep rolling. It you grinded was, him down, didn't it? Yeah, just to keep rolling and not stand up in the straight, straight, uh, yeah. straight up, because so, he was too, too much of a correct puncher. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, another thing I want to ask you as well. Is it Nigel Ben's fault this or is it trainer's fault? He never seemed to have a jab, did he, when he was with Jimmy Tate, when he was with you? He never seemed to use his jab much, did he? He actually yeah, did have a jab, but oh, he never did? used it. He's just all right hand. He just all right hand, yeah. yeah he can punch, to, can't he? Yeah. I mean, you know, he used to work with a jab, but uh, I think as soon as he got hit, he just reverted back to the street mentality of having a war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, uh, okay then. So we've gone from Nigel Ben, Lloyd Unigan, Frank Bruno, what we like to work with, all right? It was very hard good, very nice, yeah, trained hard. The gentleman. Uh, absolute gentleman. Uh, done a few shows with Frank afterwards, he's a very nice guy. Um, yeah. Always got on with him. Always got on well with Frank. Yeah, yeah he's nice he Skelton. Time, yeah. 13 years with Matt Skelton. You did 13 years with Matt Skelton, because he's from your neck of woods, Yeah, he? Bedford, yeah. He's a kid. You fight for world title? He fought and got beat on points. Again. Um, Who left? Who left? Who left? But he won. He won them all. He won the. Uh, he won the English, the British, the Commonwealth, the European, WBU heavyweight champion. Yeah, he won the world kickboxing champion. World well. kickboxing champion. But yeah, he did. Fought well. Joshua. He fought Joshua in his last. Were you in his corner then? No, I, I fell out with him. Oh, he had a He didn't want to pay me, so I fell out with him. So, See, um, this is the same old, same, same old, old stuff. Yeah. They join you with cotton pajamas. They leave you with silk pajamas. You what? Join you with what? Cotton. Cotton pajamas. Leave you with silk. Yeah. <laughs> right. So basically. What are you doing now in boxing? I know you've got a gym because Dennis told me it's in Peter. Yeah, I've got a gym in Peter and we're trying yeah. to help, help kids who are in uh, yeah. bad ways. Well, the unfortunate kids who have got drug kids. problems and yeah. uh, from broken homes and yeah. teenage tearaways. Absolutely. Well, that's what you're doing. You're doing well in the community now, aren't you? Well Is that community. rewarding for you, Kevin? It's for me. Give something back to boxing. Yeah. It gave me a good living. You know, I've done all right out of the game. Yeah. Giving something back. Yeah. That's brilliant. And what do you think tonight's show that Dennis has put on? I the show was a very good show. Yeah. Um, I think he's uh, working now with Steve Crump and Steve Aylin from Orchid um, Palm Home. Homes, yeah. Yeah, and I think the Fight Academy uh, will, in, in the next 18 months, you'll see some exciting new things on it. Yeah, oh, that's brilliant. Now, what do you think tonight's fight? I thought Josh Rowe was very good. Yeah. Um, a couple more fights before he has a title. Yeah. I think um, Tom, Tommy Franks, I think he got drawn into a fight. Yeah. Um, but I still had him one round ahead. Yeah, you said him winning that long round. And what do you think is Tyrone Nurse? Yeah. Tyrone is a good now, but he's, he's back at domestic level. Uh, I'd like to see him have a couple more fights before he steps up again and has a title shot. Dennis was talking Darren Tetler earlier on in his interview. Yeah. Darren Tetler versus Tyrone. If they're willing to accept it. Yeah. I'd like to see Tyrone have a couple more fights. Before that fight. Maybe go for a European. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's 
Let's onwards and upwards to the G Casino then for Let's us go. all. <laughs> Let's go. All right then, listen. It's been a pleasure, Kevin Thank Sanders, you, to friend. meet you. Thank you very much. Big fan of yours over the years and uh, all the best to you and your family, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you very much.